Mix the hues, create those fuses of beauty, make. Throw it on, let's see what happens. This is fun, it's pure passion. The colors are bright, it's a sight to see. If we can do it, you can too. Just follow me, like and subscribe. Hey there YouTube, welcome back to Custom Carving UK, the home of all things power carving and possibly even epoxy now. So those of you that saw the last project, I used a bit of uh, epoxy with a charcuterie board and it came out with a really good effect. Now with the YouTube algorithm being what it is, um, because I researched epoxy, I've seen hundreds of videos pop up on my timeline with regards to epoxy. I've got a space on my bathroom wall where I actually think a, a, an epoxy canvas would look great. So I've done a Timu order of epoxy, lots of mica powders, things like that. And I wanna see how easy it is to recreate some of those effects. So if you're interested in epoxy, specifically on canvas, this is the video for you. Um, I'm not classing it as a full tutorial because it's my first pour, but I hope you'll agree. I think for a first time, the results are amazing. And I'm actually looking forward to uh, playing more with epoxy and seeing what can happen. So this is just a selection of what I ordered from Timu. And the first thing I'll say is uh, epoxy is not cheap. It's quite expensive. So this Yan Chun uh, resin is what I went for in the end. And I think it cost me about £90 for, for this uh, particular set. Um, I then went with some mica powders and some pots to stir everything up in. Um, and obviously the different mica powders they're really cheap actually on team so it'd be interesting to see how they work out so the first thing i thought was going to be great with these particular um choices of resin was the pump that's in the top but it took absolutely ages to uh, fill this with the pump i've actually sped this up 10 times not that you'll notice um so maybe next time i'm doing a, a larger pour I'll probably end up just unscrewing it and pouring it in directly. But I decided uh, for the canvas that I'm using, it's around about 20 inches um, by 30 inches. So I thought 240 mil would be enough. Uh, on reflection, I'd probably do a little bit more if I did the same size canvas again in the future. So just mixing it up. Uh, the advice here is try and do it slowly so that you um, don't create more bubbles. Um, and then I've got my separate pots set up for the mica powders. I'm going to go with a bit of white, uh, a bit of bronze, a bit of copper, a bit of gold, and a couple of different greens and blues for this. Because again, I want uh, sort of I want it to go in the bathroom. So I think the uh, almost almost like a seascape but not the traditional waves is what I'm looking for. So just putting the mica powders into the pot, ready for the resin. That's now all mixed up. So there we go, guys, just mixing up the colours now. A uh, bit of advice here, put the mica powder in before the resin and it will stop that uh, icing sugar effect of clouds of mica powder going everywhere. Uh, make sure you mix them all up thoroughly. I wanted to mix everything, take it all to the workshop and then it's ready for me to pour. So in the workshop, I managed to get a large Tupperware container to put the canvas in, keep everything clean. And uh, the first I'm gonna add is gonna be my deep blue. Um, I'm not an artist, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but let, I think it'd be fun to uh, see how it goes. All of the videos I've seen so far make it look simple, but something tells me it's not as simple as it looks. So the deep blue first, uh, and I'm just gonna do a bit of a swirl effect when I put it in. No particular design in mind for this one because it is the first one. Um, I think for future videos, I will be playing with different acrylic pour techniques and see if I can do it with epoxy resin. On with the lighter blue. Um, again, the problem is with these mica powders from Timu, I can't give you specific names because none of them have names on. It's just uh, the color of the mica powder in the bottom that you have to go on. Now going with this sort of aqua, aquamarine turquoisey colour. And what I'm trying to do is just cover up as much as the white as, as possible first. Got the heat gun out, 
gave it a quick blow to keep, keep everything warm. And don't do what I just did there and use your hands to test it. <laughs> also, guys, whenever you're working with resin, make sure you've got a respirator on and glove safety first. And I'm just going around to, to start moving the resin and hopefully start the colours mixing before I add the rest. Top tip for, for future projects that I'm going to be doing as well is taping around the edges, which I didn't do with this project, um, but I've since learned it's probably the easiest way to stop the drips um, from over the side. If we can do it, you can too. Just follow me, like and so just really trying to get some coverage out of the resin. Um, if I'm being honest, I think I used um, not enough resin at this point. I think for a canvas of this size, I probably should have gone up to sort of 360 mil rather than just relying on the 240 mil. And I also, in hindsight, wish I'd have painted the background as well with acrylic paint, um, just to make it cover a little bit easier. But that's what this is all about, guys. Learn from my mistakes that you don't make the same ones. Just adding the white now. Again, these are all just mica powders that I managed to get off Timu. A bit of a slightly darker green. Adding the rest of the blue. And I just thought by doing it in layers, it's gonna create some sort of effect. Whether that's good or not, we'll find out at the end. Let's see what happens. This is fun. It's pure passion. If we can... Now going in with this colour, which I absolutely loved. Um, I think it's copper, um, is what they called it. Um, and, and actually, when, when it's dried, you'll see later on, but it gives a really good effect. A bit more white. And now the gold as well. This was a really nice colour as well. So I was hoping that the coppers and the gold would sort of mix together and give almost a bit of a metallic effect. So again, just blowing everything with the torch. And this is probably where I started to realise that I don't think I'd used um, enough epoxy for the canvas of this size. Um, because there was still a few small little gaps. So I'm blowing it around and I think this is another reason why if I'd have put a thin layer down first, let that dry and then done this, that wouldn't have been an issue. Or if I'd have painted the back with acrylic paint first. But again, you learn from your mistakes. So here we go. I'm just trying to cover up those gaps with epoxy whilst also spreading it. Um, and again, no, no particular pattern here. I'm just moving the epoxy through each other, through the different colours, trying to give it a few swirls uh, and scraping it across. I'm sure there's an official name for that when you look at techniques. I speed up this process now. And I'll let you listen to the track in the background. Uh, if, you, if you're new to the channel and you've wa not watched any of my carbon videos, I always try and come up with a music track to go with the video. So hope you enjoy that. And um, yeah, we'll carry on. Now I'm just trying to use uh, all of the, the extra epoxy I've got, just dripping it here, there and anywhere, anywhere where I can slightly see the canvas. I also scooped up some of the drips that are from the over drips and threw that back on the canvas. As you can see, no particular order in the way that I'm doing things. I'm just trying to use absolutely every last drop of epoxy I've got. 
um, and trying to create some cool patterns. So uh, we'll see if it works out in the end. Blow torching the bubbles off and then using the heat gun to move things around again. I think it's the heat and the movement that actually re really starts to create some really cool effects with the resin. So um, I'm looking forward to playing around more with that. I'm going to get some more attachments for the heat gun as well to see if different ones make different effects. But I think you'll agree, it's already kind of looking cool. It's almost like an underwater sort of cosmic galaxy. So again, just using up the last of the blue that I've got. And I decided to do that just to cover up any small little gaps and hopefully fill in any of the craters. This is the next day after 24 hours curing. And I think you'll agree, it's looking pretty cool. There's a couple of sort of crater effects in it, which I know that people don't tend to like, but I actually really like it. I think it gives it a bit more texture in the design. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how this project's gone. Um, if you like the project, please like and subscribe to the channel. There's going to be quite a few more epoxy projects coming up um, because I'm really enjoying working with it. This is actually uh, the picture on the wall and I think it looks amazing for the sake of an hour of your time and a bit of creativity. I absolutely love it. But let us know what you think in comments. Let us know if there's any techniques you want us to try and we'll try them uh, so that you don't have to make the mistakes that we do. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and see you on the next one. Mix the hues, create those fuses of beauty make Throw it on, let's see what happens This is fun, it's pure passion The colors are bright, it's a sight to see If we can do it, you can too Just follow me, like and subscribe Custom Carving UK Brand new Makeup powders, watch the colors twirl. Clouds on, respirator tight. Safety in mind, epoxy art. Let's see what we find. Throw it on, let's see what happens. This is fun, it's pure passion. If we can do it, you can too. Like and subscribe, cause carving you. What happens? This is fun. It's pure passion. If we can do it, you can too. Like and subscribe, cause carving UK brand new. Oh, the pop and side. Paxi in my pond has bloody high. The colors are so bright. Black and rainbow with the night. Safety on. Gloves and mask. Everything's feeling right. Throw it on. Let's see what happens. If we can do it, you can too Like and subscribe, cause Carving UK brand new Each poor new start with artistic souls Epoxy dreams reaching great schools